Hello, hello, Flower Friends. I'm Jessica with Sierra Flower Farm, and welcome to 5 Minute Flower Friday, where you can find almost everything you need to know to grow, harvest, and design with all the different types of fluffy beauties in five minutes or under. Today, we are talking all about Iceland poppies. Not all poppies stand up as a cut flower, but the ones that do are some of our most requested flowers. What's not to love? From their airy nature to their delicate tissue-like petals, let's not forget the amazing stigma at their centers. Iceland poppies come in a few different varieties and even more colors, of which our favorites are peach, rose, apricot, and ivory. Our favorite varieties of Iceland poppies are the tried and true champagne bubbles and the Italian calibris, which are especially swoon-worthy. An absolute favorite cool weather crop to grow. Are you ready to get some poppies growing? Let's dive into the nitty gritty on how to do just that. Iceland poppies are propagated from seed. There are two factors in being successful to starting poppies yourself, surface sowing and patience. You will find that getting the seeds to germinate is the biggest battle with poppies. Iceland poppies are itty bitty and because of this, it's easy to get overzealous when seeding and sow too many seeds to a cell. We like to use a bamboo skewer and wet the point so that way we can pick up one seed at a time. We prefer starting Iceland poppies in a 128 cell tree and then bumping them up to 72s about three to four weeks after germination. This ensures that come time to plan out, we have a good size start to tuck into the ground. We start our poppies in our propagation house, which maintains about 70 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and stays in the high 40s to 50s at night during the winter. If you are growing indoors, grow lights and a heating mat with a dome lid will help aid germination. Germination takes anywhere from one to three weeks depending on growing conditions. We like to purchase prime seeds when available as this will help provide a quicker germination. Because of the lengthy germination process, we like to add a light dusting of vermiculite on top of the trays as it helps suppress algae growth and the substrate from drying out too quickly. Make sure that the soil temperature stays between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit and bottom water trays to not disturb those tiny seeds. Poppies can also be direct sown when soil is workable. You will be rewarded for succession planting Iceland poppies as they stay in peak production for about a month. And succession planting helps give a longer harvesting window in spring. Fall planted poppies do best planted in either a high tunnel or a low tunnel. We typically start our first round of poppies the second week of January, followed with an additional succession three to four weeks after. Poppies produce the best blooms in spring-like conditions, staying in the 60s and 70s with nighttime temps not going above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Poppies get planted out about eight to 10 weeks after germination and can be planted six to nine inches apart. We plant our seven by seven inches. Poppies are subject to the same pest pressure as many other spring plants, such as thrips, earwigs, caterpillars, and slugs. Preventative management and keeping weeds at bay help to combat these issues. Poppies do best harvested early in the morning before the pollinators come out for the day and when the plant is most hydrated. The bloom is at the best point for harvest at the cracked bud stage. This is where you can see a little bit of color peeking through the sides of the bud. Open flowers won't store well, but can be used for event work. To harvest, cut the stem down to the plant, making sure to get the longest possible stem length. Poppies ooze a milky latex substance when harvested. If measures aren't taken to stop, the vase life of the flower may be decreased. To help with the stopping of the ooze, the ends can be seared either by flame or boiling water. Do only until the ends of the stems turn a brighter green. This should be done before placing them in the cooler for storage. Before storage, place poppies in a clean bucket with a CVBN tablet, then place directly into the cooler. They can be held in the cracked bud stage in the cooler for up to a week at 38 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. You can expect a vase life of five to seven days from Iceland poppies with the use of commercial flower food. Poppies are versatile in their roles. The larger flowered Italian Calibris can be used as a focal flower. The smaller champagne bubble poppies are great for disc or even to bring some air into a bouquet or design. Poppies tend to grow quickly out of water and are best kept with a water source. Iceland poppies add such whimsy to any design or bouquet alike. They are fleeting beauties who shut down once the weather warms, but that's what makes them even more special. Your customers won't even believe they are poppies since their vase life size and colors of the Iceland varieties are superior to other more common poppies. Iceland poppies with their long slender stems and delicate tissue paper-like petals combine to make a flower that looks ethereal and demands attention. 
These incredibly prolific plants and amazing flowers are a plus for any local grower to offer. Well, there you have it. Almost everything you need to know about Iceland poppies in five minutes or under. Until next time, we are looking forward to helping you hand bloom soon.